It's Aaron Dean shot and killed Tatiana Jefferson at her mother's home in 2019 during a non-emergency call about an open door. The judge put tight restrictions on media coverage during jury selection, so our video of Dean is from previous hearings. Now, at this point, it does not appear the defense will be granted a requested change of venue, and both sides in the case have a lot of questions for those prospective jurors. Fox 4's Dan Anglin is covering the proceedings and joins us now live. Dion. Well, jury selection is officially underway in the Aaron Dean murder trial, and it is expected to go on all week. Now, by this time next week, some three years after the shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson, testimony is set to begin. Aaron Dean, his attorneys and prosecutors went before Judge George Gallagher briefly around noon Monday. Dean is shown here during a previous proceeding. A new court order in the case issued Monday bans cameras or recording devices in all areas of the courthouse with the exception of a pool camera during the actual trial. Dean's defense team, in a response to the judge, declined a formal arraignment for the former police officer, which has never taken place, and for the record, entered an official plea for their client of not guilty. The case moves forward a day following the death of Dean's lead defense lawyer, prominent Tarrant County attorney Jim Lane. No special provisions were discussed in open court regarding Lane's death. Judge Gallagher did say he expects the trial to begin Monday, December 5th. Moments later, jury selection was underway. A special pool of around 195 prospective jurors gathered in the central jury selection room, a space larger than the typical courtroom to accommodate the increased number of candidates. Dean's murder trial for the line of duty shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson in her mother's home has attracted national attention. Judge Gallagher addressed the group to explain the initial logistics, including required questionnaires from the prosecution and defense. Copies of those questionnaires reveal inquiries that go beyond political, education, and religious subjects, including the following. From prosecutors, have you ever attended a protest of any kind? If yes, please explain. Do you think police treat minorities differently? If yes, explain. And from the defense, do you have a personal philosophy or favorite saying that reflects your personal philosophy that can be expressed in a few sentences? Which television shows do you watch regularly? Do you believe that most eyewitnesses to violent crimes are generally reliable in their recollections of the facts? The prospective jury pool, after completing the forms, is now separated into two groups. One will report for further selection protocol on Wednesday. The remaining candidates report on Thursday, after which all but 14 will be eliminated. Now, Judge Gallagher says he expects to have a jury pool or, or a jury seated by early Friday, 12 jury members and two alternates. And again, it is expected that opening arguments this time next week will be underway. It's a very latest live. Steve, Heather, back to you. Okay, Dion Anglin in Fort Worth tonight. Dion, thanks.